Hi, this is Brandon Yelts from the implementation team, and today I'm going to be discussing layouts. Uh, so we do have a few different type of layouts within our software. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about the security around it. <clears throat> so we do have a module within SalesPad. If I go to setup slash utilities, we have a module called layout maintenance. So there is some security around this layout maintenance screen. So if I go to my security editor, and if I just look for layout maintenance, you'll see that there is some security around this. So the security around this will make a little more sense once I open the actual module and um, discuss how the screen is used. But you can uh, give you can give access to you know specific users on if they can copy layouts, if they can delete layouts, if they can make layouts read only. That's pretty much the only security around that. So in order to open the layout maintenance module, like I mentioned earlier, it's on the setup slash utilities tab, and then I'll just click layout maintenance. So there are a few different sections to the layout maintenance screen. The first section is the different forms and what tabs that are available per form. So we only have four within the system right now, but what this allows you to do is for the customer card form, if I highlight that and click the new button, so what this allows me to do is based on customer class right now in my scenario, if the customer class equals a specific value, so for example, if it equals this USA, IN, Michigan here, then they only have access to C specific tabs. So I don't have a ton of customers that have used this in the past. However, what a scenario I have used it for is um, I've had clients in the past, they'll create a customer class called prospect. And if it's a prospect customer class, then they only want them to see specific tabs. So there's not going to be any AR information on them. You know, they don't want them to have access or see these specific tabs if it's that specific customer class. So in this example, if they were the Indiana, Michigan customer class, I can click these checkboxes down here. And so that would mean that if I open a customer card in this class, they would only see these three tabs on that customer card. And you can do that, you know, for the sales document entry screen as well. You know, if it's a specific sales document ID, you only show specific document tabs um, on the purchase order in the vendor as well. Uh, the main reason I wanted to go to this screen though is the bottom section. And so what this section is down below here are the layouts. And so these layouts, what I'm referring to are the grid layouts. So when I'm talking about grid layouts, I'm talking about what I'm putting my, my mouse over right now. Th this is what we call as our sales pad grid. So for example, on the customer card, this is my sales pad grid that we see here. And so within our layout maintenance, we have the ability to, when, when sales pad is first loaded, to have it default to a specific layout so they see specific fields. Um, from this as well, we have the ability to make them read only. So maybe you don't want your sales team to add specific fields to this layout. You can lock that down through our layout maintenance screen. So really what you'll see down below here in the layout section is every single layout that I've made an adjustment to in the past. And then you can actually see that if I, in the layout ID section, this is what was actually changed. So the names are somewhat technical, so if you're not sure what a specific layout is, what I would suggest doing is actually make a change to the layout that you want to lock down or copy. So for example, if I drag salesperson ID off of here and exit, and then if I do a refresh here in the layout maintenance, and we can just scroll all the way to the bottom, we can see that that was my customer search layout that I just modified. And so if I wanted to, I can click read only to market read only for my user, my account, or I can take that layout and copy it to specific groups. So if I click copy to groups, this would then allow you to choose what specific group you want that to copy to. You could also copy to users. So if you wanted to only copy that layout to specific users in your system, that's what that would be for. And then there's also a toggle read only. So if I click on that, or you know, you can multi-select in here as well, holding shift or the control button down. 
you can toggle specific layouts being read only. So for example, my customer search I just changed. If I want to copy to groups, I'll just click that and I'll just select all and hit OK. And when I do that, you'll see at the bottom now this, this layout that I just created copied to every single one of my security groups. And then if I want to make it read only, same thing. I can just highlight all these, click toggle read only, save that. Now you'll notice that I'll have to log out, log back in to see my changes take effect. So if we log out of SalesPad, I'm going to go ahead and log back in here. And then when I log back in, and if I try to go to my column chooser on my customer search, you'll see my column chooser is grayed out. So that means this is read only and I cannot add or remove any columns from this grid. Same here. If I click on this orange triangle and try to go to columns, you'll see I cannot add or remove any columns. So this grid that I've been modifying, like I said, this is our sales pad grid, and this is customizable for each Windows user. So if I change my layout and then John Doe logs into his account, his layout will be specific to him. So me changing my layout on here will not affect anyone else. So that's our grid layout. Now we do have different layouts as well. If I pull up, for example, my customer card, what you see here at the top, this is my customer header layout. And so any changes that I make to this layout that we see here will affect every user within the system. So for example, if I right click anywhere in here and go to customize layout, and then I wanna remove, um, say for example, this tax registration number field. I can drag that into my customization menu here. And now tax registration number is off of, off of my main header layout here. Now you'll see at the top of this customization menu that there is a drop down here. And so what that means is if I just click save layout, that will only change this layout for any customers that are in this USA INMI customer class. So I'll need to hit save layout and then make that adjustment for any other customer classes as well. So it will affect all users if you make a change to this adjustment. However, um, you can make it so if you want your specific Australia customer class to have a different layout than any of your other customer classes, this is what that would be for. The user fields tab also has its own specific layout. So if I'm on the user field tab right now, and if I right click and go to customize layout, you'll see that I can modify this layout on my user fields tab. Now there's no specific changing of the customer user fields tab based on customer class. If I make a change to this, this will affect every single customer, no matter what their customer class is. Also on the sales document, so if I pull up or if I start a new sales document, you'll see that you can customize this header layout as well. And if I right click on this and go to customize layout, you'll see that the layout around this is based off of sales document ID. So maybe you wanted your standard orders to have a different layout than your special orders. You could do that through the customization menu on here. So that's it for customizing layouts. As you can see, we talked about the modifying the header of sales documents and customers along with the modification of the sales pad grid. Thank you for watching our video.